Welcome back to the Personal Process Podcast. Thanks for joining in today. This is going to be a very interesting episode because it's very personal to me. In the previous episodes where we talked about having ideas attached to ourselves and how that can cause harm, well, today I'm going to share one of those ideas with you. And this may cause a bit of frustration with some individuals, but based on my life experience, this reigns true at this current point in time, unless society evolves and changes, or unless I converse with other people and get more experience. With all those qualifying statements out there, uh, the thing that I would like to talk about today is uh, the fact that life is not fair. Now, I know what some of you are thinking. Okay, he's just going to complain. No, I'm actually far from it. And this notion actually allowed me to learn how to not complain. You see, throughout my life, I've always been brought up to think that no matter where you're at, you can get to whatever point that you want as easy as others if you just put in the work. The work is the only variable that's different between you and others. And this is the thoughts that I believed in myself. Now, this manifested in a lot of good ways. You know, I practiced hard. I studied hard. I put myself out there. And, you know, playing sports, I was the person on our team who would get the most rebounds. I would be the hardest working person in the room. That was something that I identified with. but subliminally, I had a hidden contract. The hidden contract was with myself. I believed that if I put in the work, I would have got X result better or faster than someone else who did less work. Now, this obviously led into issues. This was such an intimate core belief of mine that whenever this didn't pan out, when someone would get a result without doing the work, without doing and tenth of the work, a hundredth of the work, it would rub me the wrong way so much. It would infuriate me. Sometimes the day couldn't go by. I was they, I was paralyzed. I was stunned. I didn't know what to do. And due to this reason, I couldn't move ahead. I kept complaining. I kept complaining. Why is it like this? Why is life not fair? These put me in my own standstill moments. I didn't know how to get ahead. And you know, it wasn't until I was able to talk with a good friend of mine that I was able to actually get a definitive understanding that this was a problem of mine. He mentioned to me that, hey, Parm, you know, you, we keep talking and then you keep bringing up that, you know, that life isn't fair and all this. Well, it's not. Deal with it. You know, the first time you mentioned something like this, I was <laughs> taken aback. I was like, no, you don't understand all this. I had that physical attachment to me of this idea. You put in the work, you get the results. Better than someone else who doesn't put in the work, regardless of where they're from. And that's absolutely wrong. As I grew up more and more, I realized how much is based on a person's conditions. Now, this can be various tones. This can be the level of affluence. This could be the skin color that they have. This could be the neighborhood they grew up in. This could be the country that they were born into, the rights that they had. The You know, there's so many factors that influence this decision. And quite frankly, some people are just going to be ahead of you in certain domains, as you are to others in certain domains. And your level of work is not a direct indication that you will be ahead of others. What it will say is that you will be at a higher percentage to attain your goal based on just the fact that you're more prepared, but doesn't mean that you're definitively going to get something. And this was something that, when I tell you this was a core belief, this was the belief I had ever since I was a kid. I worked so hard. I put in so many hours in studying. I wouldn't rest. And this is something that I've learned recently that I need to take because resting makes us learn more. And maybe I'll do a video on learning and how to attain our goals in the most efficient manner using scientific evidence. Stay tuned and subscribe. 
a little plug done. So I think this was just a very big step for me that recently changed, and I'm very happy for it. I feel better, I feel more content, and as you can see at this time, I'm actually using this momentum to fuel my growth because I'm going to be putting as much work as I can, but I know that others who may have, you know, networks of people, whether in social media marketing, maybe they just have a bigger network of friends, maybe they have, you know, friends who have connections in certain industries that can get their podcast ahead. I'm not comparing myself to them. I'm comparing myself to who I am and everything that I have and seeing that with clear vision. And I guess one thing that I wanted to share. So as some of you know, I do write poetry. I've actually recently been uh, happy to publish two of my poems in a poetry journal, which was very nice. And I wrote a poem on this. It was titled Life is Not Fair. Now, this stance was very extreme, and uh, usually my poetry relates nature to life lessons and assimilates in a way that's able to be understood by many other people. But recently, what I've been doing, well, not recently, what I've done with my most recent poem is I kind of just wrote for my heart, and I tried a new style. The style was a little bit more dark in a way. It was kind of just admitting that this is something that I do not have control over, that some people are going to have advantages over me. And that's okay. Because you see, before I had my vision blocked, I thought that the world was a way that it wasn't. And now I have figuratively unstitched this incorrect belief about life. And because of it, I'm in a better position. I'm able to see the world for what it is. And although, you know, in some regards, the world's getting better for some people, there's a lot of work for it to be perfect for everyone. And I think that is an unfathomable goal. So I think although equality can go into the right direction, there are going to be certain segments that are just going to be unequal. And I think that's an empowering belief to have. Although grim, it allows us to understand that Others can get ahead when they do no work, and that's okay, but we can still get to a high position based on the amount of work we do. And it's important to note again, and I'm going to reiterate this, that everybody has certain privileges. You know, if you grow up in an environment where you're not given a lot, you have this hunger, this drive that others can only dream about. And with that, you can accomplish great feats, whereas others would be, you know, maybe just stuck to their couch their phone and they can't break free so in any circumstance there are positives and negatives to take away so try to self-reflect analyze and figure out what your strengths and weaknesses are so the ending for this episode what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be actually reading out the poem and my friend uh at the real azar khan I'll link his Instagram uh, below, recommended this approach. He is also a fellow podcaster, so please uh, give him a subscription. He relates computers and algorithm, uh, sorry, algorithms to life. And if you're into that, I think it'd be a cool podcast to subscribe to. Now, with that said, I'm just going to get my phone to read off this poem, and I'll be right back. Okay, so we got the phone. So I'm going to be linking the poetry page as well as, you know, the poem that I'm reading from in the bio. So if you'd like to look at it, you can look at it there. So the poem is called Life is Not Fair. Before I go ahead, this is something new, and I think it's an interesting concept but I want your feedback. If you like this, please let me know. I may not be able to use a poem for every single video that I use, 
but I think it'd be pretty cool to end off with something like this. A little something to keep individuals engaged with the content. Okay. Fairness and quality. Why was this something that always used to bother me? Grind, hustle, work, repeat. Why does it matter when ending in defeat? I used to view life as a meritocracy. Now I view life like it's a hypocrisy. You get messages like the American dream. If you work hard, you get products like cream. Too bad that cash rules everything around me. The struggles I went through will matter to those that have more. The knowledge I have won't be able to open their doors. The work ethic I developed won't be nothing beside them. Even though they were just born into opportunity like a diamond's immunity, I was lied to by the message of unity. I believe that we could all be on the same level. I didn't understand I was the base while they were on the treble. Now I realize what I should have known. I don't blame myself for results that could have been skewed to those with more privilege. I don't see the world as fair, but now my vision is not impaired. Life is not equitable, and it will not be ever. Try to make the best of your situation. Don't complain about your agitation. You have understood the causation. Enjoy. This is your reincarnation. And that was the poem. As you can see, there were some dark elements to it. And uh, I actually had a couple of friends reach out. Hey, are you doing okay, man? And I, I was. And I think the thing about poetry that perhaps people that don't write it may not understand, and maybe I'm just an outlier, so let's keep that with a grain of salt, is that when we write these poems, we are letting go of these feelings and emotion. It figuratively dissipates from our body onto the page. Or in my case, the Word document. Welcome to 2022, the digital revolution. And after I've written that, I've just become so much more at ease. And I thank my friend a lot for really, you know, showing me that this was something that I was lacking. It's improved me. It's, uh, yeah, it's just been a great experience. I'm still learning. I'm still growing. And perhaps this will change in the future. But at this current point in time, this is something that I do believe is true, at least at some ratio. And I think that, you know, privilege and access is something that everyone has to a certain degree. I consider myself privileged in many ways. I grew up in a house. I had food. I didn't have to worry about, you know, going homeless. And these are things that a lot of individuals can't say. I grew up in one of the richest nations in the world. I grew up, you know, I went to a good school. So I'm privileged in many ways. There's some things that others have ahead of me, and there's some things that I have ahead of others. It's important to notice this. It's important to notice that due to these strengths and weaknesses, you're going to have some advantages and disadvantages, and some people may have a higher ratio of that. But it is what it is. Improve yourself. Put in the work and attain the highest point that you can for your journey. And the only way we can do that is to keep on moving forward. Thank you so much. And if you're a new listener, I hope this was a cool episode. So if it was, let me know. Hit the like button, subscribe, tell a friend or two. Follow us on our social media platforms with the link in the bio. And we'll catch you on the next one. Thank you so much. This is Paramelmi wishing you a great day. Cheers.